I feel like I had a little bit of an advantage. Before I was a comedian, I was a school teacher. I was around kids, I learned some things. One of the things I learned is kids listen to everything their parents say. Whether it's brilliant or stupid, they hear all of it. And then they go to school and they repeat it. <laughs> so anytime you hear the phrase, my dad says, hmm, buckle up. <laughs> you are about to hear something ignorant or foolish or racist. Sometimes you get lucky, hit the trifecta, get all three of those wrapped up in a <laughs> big perfect storm of stupid. <laughs> You're always getting one though. Mr. Deo, my dad says that I could be president one day. Hmm, I doubt it. <laughs> you just ate a crayon. <laughs> Not part of a crayon, you ate all of it. You didn't even stop when you knew it tasted bad. That is not what our future president is doing today. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> I guess at this point, who knows, right? <laughs> Having a kid though, it's the biggest decision you're ever gonna make in your life. You have to be 100% sure that it's something you want to do. My wife and I, we were 100% sure. Actually, my wife was like 99% sure she wanted a baby. And I was 1% sure I wanted one. <laughs> I checked her mass, she was right. It was time. I was wrong about how much I'd like having a kid though. He is the light of my life. Just so cute and adorable. Looks nothing like me. <laughs> and people notice. Every once in a while, I'll get that he has your smile consolation prize. <laughs> but I know they're just grasping. You know, all baby smiles look alike. When someone says he has your smile, I know that's a polite person trying to say, I don't think that's your kid. <laughs> you might be right. <laughs> Took a scuba diving class recently, that was fun. We were in class one day, the teacher was telling us that if you're ever out diving and it gets cold, you can just pee on yourself. And it'll warm you up. And I thought that was kind of disgusting. But then we were out one day. Started getting chilly. And I did it. The good news, it worked. The bad news, I was golfing. That's not how you warm up golfing. <laughs> That's how you get kicked out of putt-putt. Subscribe to Drybar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.